Did you know that over 75% of people visiting your online store will not make a purchase? So if you don't have a strategy to bring all these people back to your website and make a purchase, then you'll be leaving a lot of money on the table. In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways on how you can recover abandoned carts on your website. Let's start with method number one, which is to send abandoned card recovery emails. Now this might have happened to you as well. Maybe you're browsing the web, looking for some products online and you didn't complete your purchase on a particular website. And later in the day, or maybe just after a few minutes, you receive an email for them reminding you that you left some products in your cart. Well, they do that because it works. And that's the same strategy we also use on our website, Brainstorm Force. This is the kind of email that we send to our users when they don't complete the purchase of Astra Pro, which is the theme that we make for WordPress. And by utilizing the same strategy, you can get a lot of people back to your store and completing their orders. So let me show you how to do that. To start sending cart abandonment emails from your website, all you have to do is set up and install this plugin called WooCommerce Cart Abandonment Recovery Plugin by Cartflows. It's a fantastic plugin, it's 100% free and has a bunch of interesting features. What it does, it captures the email address of your users who are visiting and trying to check out on your website automatically. And based on your configuration, it will send them multiple reminder emails based on the duration that you set. You could create multiple email templates and they can be personalized for each user. You can also create unique checkout links and coupon codes that can be sent to your users automatically with each email. And all this is completely free. Let me show you the demo of the plugin. So I'm inside my website and I have the plugin installed as you can see, WooCommerce Cart Abandonment Recovery, and it will show up under WooCommerce under this setting. As you can see, three different email templates are already created inside the plugin with unique subject lines and also different trigger lengths. So the first email will be sent after 30 minutes of recovery or abandonment. The second email will be sent after one day of abandonment and the third email will be sent after three days. And you can activate and deactivate these as you please. And obviously you can create new templates, define their old subject lines and all the content, and they'll be sent to users based on the trigger that you decide. Inside the reporting section, you'll see a bunch of details. You'll see the number of recoverable orders on your website, the number of orders that were recovered, number of orders that were lost, overall revenue that can be recovered, overall revenue that was recovered, and also the recovery percentage rate. And obviously you can filter them by date, week, month, and also search by email. The plugin is 100% free, GDPR compliant, and also offers a lot of webhooks so you can connect it with your favorite email service provider. With all these benefits and the fantastic price of zero that is free, this plugin is a must have on your WooCommerce website. So make sure to check it out, the link will be in the description. And if you're serious about increasing the revenue of your online store, then you should definitely check out the full version of this plugin, which is actually Cartflows. Cartflows is a unique one of a kind WordPress plugin that will help you get more leads, increase conversions and maximize profits on your online store. Let me show you some of the interesting features of this plugin. It has built-in templates for Elementor, Beaver Builder, Divi Architect, Thrive Architect, Gutenberg. That means no matter what technology you're using, you'll be able to import some beautiful looking templates to help upsell your products on your store. It also improves conversions on your website by replacing WooCommerce's native checkout process with its conversion focused and highly optimized checkout process. Using this checkout process will definitely improve the conversions on your website. You also have the option of adding order bumps to your checkout process, which is a proven technique to improve the overall ticket value of your store. And to improve conversions even further, you can also create unlimited upsells and downsell offers on your store, which is another proven technique to improve the conversion rate and also increase the lifetime value of your customers. And that's not all. Cartflows has ton of other features to improve the conversion rate of your website and increase the revenue of your online store. So make sure to check out the complete version. The link will be in the description of this video. Let's move on to method number two, which is remarketing using Facebook ads. Now you might have experienced this process as well. You're browsing a website, you're looking at some products, and then next thing you know, you're distracted and you head to Facebook, and what do you know? You find the ad for the exact product on Facebook. Is that magic? No, it's called retargeting. Setting up retargeting through Facebook is pretty simple. All you have to do is set up your Facebook pixel. Now the Facebook pixel is a small piece of code that you add to your website, which helps you track visitors and obviously retargeting them. You can install the code manually if you know how to do so. And Facebook also recommends some additional methods using plugins to add the code to your website. And if you don't want to mess around with code, then I recommend that you use the Pixel Caffeine plugin by Ad Espresso. It's a completely free plugin that will help you 
add the pixel code to your website and also add some additional features like the Facebook product catalog and some other features. Obviously, this is not the only plugin that supports these features. There are plenty of them out there. Some are free and some are paid or premium plugins. So do your research and find the plugin that best suits your business needs. Once you do set up the pixel on your website using the plugin or the manual method, then all you have to do is set up some events based on which Facebook will track your user's behavior on your website. And once the Facebook pixel has collected some data about your visitors, you can start targeting them by creating ads inside your ad account. One pro tip that I'd like to give you is to add the Facebook pixel to your website even if you have no intention of advertising today. Because if you have intentions of advertising in the future, just because the pixel was already present on your website, you'll have a ready audience that you can target on day one. And that's it for method number two. Coming to method number three, which is remarketing using Google Ads. Now, Facebook and Facebook-owned properties are not the only place where you can remarket to your users. You can also retarget users across the web using Google's display network and other Google-owned properties, similar to what you see on the screen right here and also right here. Apart from just display ads, you can retarget users on Google Search, Google Display Network, inside mobile apps, YouTube ads, and also other Google-owned properties. Now to start targeting your users across the web using Google's properties, you don't even need to set up a pixel. You just have to have access to Google Analytics. So if you have set up Google Analytics for your website similar to this, then you're already on the right path to start targeting users on Google Display Network. All you have to do is connect your Google Analytics account to your Google Ads account and you can start targeting your users. And if you haven't set up Google Analytics on your website, we have a video coming out on that very soon. So make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to watch that video. Let's talk about method number four to recover abandoned carts on your website and the recommendation or method number four would be to send push notifications for abandoned cart recovery. Now, every day you're bombarded with notifications from apps, from email applications, from social networks, any games that you have, and basically any app that you install on your phone sends you notifications all the time. And I'm sure that you know that websites can also send push notifications. And if you're one of those rare souls who did not know that websites can send push notifications, I'll add a screenshot on the screen showing how a push notification looks like from a website on the desktop browser. On mobile phones, uh, the notification just appears as any other notification that any app would send to your phone. Now, if you want to start sending push notifications from your website, there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of options to choose from. And even if you'd look for best no push notification provider or plugin for WordPress, you'll be bombarded with a lot of options. But we are looking for solutions specifically that have a great solution built in for abandoned cart recovery. And there are a handful of services that do a great job. But to save you some time, I'm going to recommend just two of these services that I think will be the best solution for most people. And spoilers, you can already see them on the screen right now. One is one signal and the other is push alert. Let's talk about them and I'll also highlight the specific use cases why I would recommend one over the other in specific scenarios. So talking about push alert, it's a fantastic service to send push notifications from any website. You don't need a mobile app. It just says that on the screen right here and a little bit of throwback, the notification screenshot that I shared a few moments earlier was also from push alert. They have a handy demo on their website. You can just go to this page right here and check the demo out for yourself. And it's been used or is being used by over 20,000 business globally, some big names out here, which just adds to the credibility of the plugin or the service as well. Talking about the pricing of Push Alert, it starts from $0 a month that is free for up to 3,000 subscribers. But the push notifications or the abandoned car recovery push notifications come in the first plan or the basic plan, which starts at around $12 a month if you go for the monthly plan. But you can also go or bill annually and it will be discounted to just $10 a month. And if you have more than 3,000 subscribers or if you gain more than 3,000 subscribers, you can use this slider to estimate the amount of price or amount of money you'll pay for this service. And obviously they have other plans with a lot more features. So choose one that works the best for you. All the plans from basic and above do include the automated or automated abandoned cart recovery or notifications. Now, just to clarify, if you start researching push alert for your website and you research or search for push alert, WooCommerce, abandoned cart recovery, you might end up on their documentation page, which involves a bunch of code you need to add to your website. But you don't need to actually do any of that because push alert has a handy plugin which you can install on your site and it does support the push notifications for abandoned cart notifications. So don't worry about that. I'll leave a link down in the description for this particular plugin so you can install it and test it out on your website. Talking about the next solution that we were talking about earlier is push notifications by OneSignal. 
Now one signal has been around for a very long time. At one point, one signal was one of the most popular push notification providers out there. And since then, they haven't slowed down. They've actually transformed themselves into a more enterprise-based solution, which you can also estimate looking at the customer list right here. They have uh, big clients like LendingTree, Volkswagen, Verizon, Zynga, and a bunch of other amazing huge companies, or probably public Fortune 500 companies. And they also evolved their products significantly. Earlier, they were just a push notification provider, but now they are more of a retention provider. So they do offer mobile push, web push, in-app notifications, email, and SMS. So they have an end-to-end -end solution on retaining customers or users on your website. Now, as I mentioned, OneSignal is more of an enterprise-based solution. So while they do have a free plugin for WordPress, it does not technically support abandoned cart recovery emails or push notifications, sorry. It does not support push notifications for abandoned cart recovery. But that's not necessarily a deal breaker. It just means that you'll have to have some sort of technical experience or a tech team to implement OneSignal on your website. The documentation is present on their website. Here is the documentation. You can read all about it, the API and whatever solutions you want to implement. And while the code might look intimidating to you, for a good developer, this is just, just another Tuesday at work. So they'll be able to implement this solution in no time. And one of the benefits of using code is that you can customize the plugin or the functionality of the plugin and targeting of the plugin to the nth degree. So you'll have a really optimized solution based on the data and results that you see while setting up push notifications on your website. And you can read all about this documentation. I leave a link down in the description to this particular blog post or this documentation post on the website. And obviously you can find it through a simple Google search as well. Talking about the pricing for one signal, it's actually quite similar to the other solution push alert that we're talking about. Starts at $0 a month and the growth plan starts at $9 a month with some in-app impressions and other details. Now, if you check out their pricing page and look for the abandoned card push notification service, then you won't find the specific entry in the pricing comparison page. That is because they don't limit it to a certain number of plans. Any plan that has the API access should be able to use the service and send push notifications for abandoned cart recovery. So don't go looking out for that. Just go for any of the paid plans and you should be good. So that was point number four. Let's move on to point number five, which is the last point of this video, which is to do manual outreach to recover abandoned carts on your website. Now, I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking, hey, do I really need to follow up manually with a customer for a $10 product that I'm selling? Well, obviously not. It depends on the kind of product you sell, your average ticket value, your average customer lifetime value, and a bunch of other factors, which you can probably understand. To drive the point across, I just pulled up an interesting statistic, which you can see on the screen right here. The average B2C customer has an ACV or average customer value of $100, but the average B2B customer has an ACV of $1,080. So obviously, if you are in B2B sales or you are enterprise sales, then you can definitely use the strategy of manually following up with the customer because one customer might be worth tens of thousands of dollars or sometimes hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. Just for example, if you're also selling houses, then the average price of a house in the US is around $284,600. Now, if you could do a sale or you can make a sale by making a few phone calls, now, if you could have a sale for $284,600 by doing manual outreach, would you skip it? Definitely not. So make a judgment call whether manual outreach makes sense for your business. For manual outreach, you have a bunch of options. You can send them personalized emails. You can get in touch over the phone. You can invite them to webinars or a Zoom meeting where you can answer all their questions. And for rare cases or really high ticket values, you can meet up in person as well. I'd like to emphasize once again that manual outreach does require a lot of resources, but you have to look at the ROI or return on investment of your time and resources, whether it is worth it for your business. So make a judgment call whether you can use it for your business. So guys, those were five different ways to recover abandoned cars on your website. Which one is your favorite? And if you use one or more of them, then let me know which one has worked out the best for your business in the comments down below. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also hit the bell icon. Both of these actions are free, but they will add a lot of value to your website because we'll be able to send you some notifications about some amazing videos like this that we create on our channel and upload on our channel regularly. You're listening to Yuvraj from Brainstorm Force. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe.